Hi, I'm Jeff Burnett, CEO of Labor Finders International, and welcome to the July Labor Finders Report. BLS released their data for the month of July. Here's some of the high points. Non-farm payroll employment increased by 114,000 jobs. This is a decrease from what was reported in the month of June. Now there are an average of 215,000 jobs added per month during the last 12 months. And as is always the case, there's revisions that are done by BLS. And in the prior two months, the revisions were a net decrease of 29,000 jobs. BLS will do their first 2024 benchmark revision on August the 21st. And their final revisions are expected out in January of 2025. Uh, the unemployment rate was changed slightly. It ticked up 0.2% for a total of 4.3% at this time. They're essentially unchanged at 8.2 million openings. Only a very small increase of about 100,000 jobs from the prior month. Inflation seems to be stabilizing and trending, trending lower. Inflation still is above where the feds want it to be, but it is moving in the right direction. And the high interest rates do appear to be doing their job in containing inflation. Now, let's talk about the interest rates for a moment. The labor market is stabilizing, which should lead to an interest rate reduction at the Fed September meeting. The rates have remained high to fight inflation, to cool the economy, and to slow the labor market. And the labor market is slowing, and that's further indicated by the recent downward revisions in the past two months in the jobs reports. GDP is, continues to hold steady. Healthcare added 55,000, government added 17,000, social assistance 9,000, construction 25,000, and transportation and warehousing added 14,000 jobs. Most other industries had little or no change. Layoffs continue to be minimal and businesses are holding on to their full-time employees. The average hourly wages increased by 3.6% over the last 12 months. So that is it for the, this month's Labor Finders Report. I look forward to seeing you again next month.